Hi all, let's talk about non-blocking, semi-blocking and fully blocking transformations in SSIS. So these are the transformations are the self-explanatory words, simple English words. So when I say non-blocking, if the transformation does not block any row which is input and it is giving same as output, that is nothing but a non-blocking. If the transformation blocks partially some of the rows, that is nothing but a semi-blocking or partially blocking. If the transformation completely blocks all the input rows and it gives a different output altogether, that is nothing but a fully blocking transformations. So all the transformations in SSIS are categorized into these three categories, non-blocking, semi-blocking and fully blocking transformations. So let's talk about in detail. So what is the difference between these three? See. So here fully blocking transformations fully blocking transformation is the asynchronous transformation and the number of input rows equal to output rows may be usually false we may or may not get the input number of rows to the output and so it used to read all the input before they can output means so fully blocking transformation is the one it may give you the different output altogether comparatively with the input now so it is going to create a new buffer and it is going to create a new thread altogether it won't use the old buffer as created for input and it it won't uh, use the old thread which is created for the input so let come to the semi blocking semi blocking also comes as a asynchronous transformations next so input number of rows may not be equal to the output rows and again, so it may read all the input before they can output. It is false. It won't read all the input before it is going to give to the output. Means it is going to give you row wise output. Let us say I have 100 rows. It reads the first row and it gives to the output. It's row by row. Next. Is it going to be a new buffer? Yes, it's going to create a new buffer compared with the input. And it is going to create a new thread usually true it may create next is the non blocking transformations so again it is a synchronous transformations so when i say synchronous it is going to be number of input rows equal to number of output rows that is the reason why we are calling it as a synchronous and so is it going to read all the input before they can out no so it is a row wise right row wise transformations it reads the first some rows and it gives the first like that next so is it going to be create a new buffer no it won't create a new buffer it is going to reuse the input buffer only and can i use an input thread for this non blocking transformations yes we can use the input thread only rather than creating a new thread so these are all the difference between non blocking partially blocking and fully blocking transformations this is one of the important concept in SSIS. So we'll talk about in detail later. So what are all the transformation come under non-blocking? What are all the transformation come under partially blocking? What are all the transformation come under fully blocking categories? So thank you for watching.